Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video we are going to solve one of the issues which was mentioned in the comment. So uh, this is the video which I uploaded almost a month back where I had used the maximum function in calculated field and I got the maximum value of price and I got a comment saying that uh, is there a possibility to create a scorecard out of the sum of these max price. So this user is Alexandra, uh, sorry if I'm uh, not pronunciating it correctly. She wants to get the sum of these max prices. So if I sum these max prices, this will be 503.63. So I extracted this data in Excel and I took the sum of these five record and you can see that this sum value is 503.625 and this is what I'm going getting over here 503.63. So this is my understanding that she wants to create a scorecard by taking the sum of the max prices. So by taking some of these max prices. So when you use a calculated field or when you use the aggregate function max in your grand total, you will see that you will get the maximum value of these records. So 102 is the maximum value out of these four records or five records. So your grand total will show the maximum value but she wants to get some of these maximum price in a scorecard and she's mentioning that unfortunately in blended records are being duplicated and total sum is incorrect so i had suggested her to use a calculated field to create some of these max prices but unfortunately it didn't work for her and she says that she'll keep digging but don't worry Alexandra I am going to create a video to help you out so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to replicate the same thing that you said that you are using blended records okay so I will be using the blended records to get the sum of these max values in a scorecard okay as you can see that I have already created a scorecard where I'm getting the sum of these maximum prices so I'll show you again how to do that from starting okay so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to the resources part and then I'm going to click on manage blend and I'm going to remove this blend which I created to get that sum of maximum value. Okay, so let me remove this scorecard also. Now if I go back to my data then you can see that I have category and then I have unit prices. So when she's saying that she's using the blend data what I'm going to do over here is that I'm going to blend this data again with this same data so I'll be using the self join so that we will have duplicate record and then I'm going to get the sum of these maximum prices to do that what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on resources then I'm going to click on manage blend and I'm going to click on add a blend in my table one I'm going to keep this data six, gds underscore 67 which you can see over here gds under, underscore 67 and over here I'm just going to take category in my dimension so why I have taken category because this category is the field for which I am going to show the maximum value in the table. So as you can see over here for this category I am showing the maximum value and for this category only I need the sum of these maximum prices right. So let's go back to manage blend add blend and in my table 1 I will keep the GD67 and for dimension I will only keep category then I am going to click on join another table and I'm going to select again the same data set GTS 67 and in this data set I'm going to take dimension as category only and in metric I'm going to take this unit price over here so by default you will see that the unit price and the aggregation is sum over here so I'm just going to click on this pencil button and change this aggregation to maximum and I'm going to rename it saying that max of unit price blend data okay now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to configure the join so for configuring the join you can select based on your requirement I'm just gonna select left join and you can see that when you have been asked for join condition I'm gonna select category in my table 1 as well as category in my table 2 then I'm going to click on save once you click on save then you will be able to see that you have this option save over here and you can give the data source name so I'm just gonna say 
okay i'm just going to copy her name alexandra and i'm going to come back over here i'm going to put alexandra question solution as my data source blended name and i'm going to click on save then i am going to click on close now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to add a new scorecard but before adding a scorecard you can see over here that i have a blended data alexandra question solution so i'm going to take a scorecard and put it over here and by default you will see that this scorecard has taken the metric as record count from this gds67 so i'm going to come over here under this data source section i'm going to select this blended data alexandra question solution and over here i have this field max of unit price blend data which i created so i'm just going to take this field and put it over here in metric section the moment you select this max of unit price blend data you will see that the aggregation is sum okay and by default this sum will be there and you will get the exact sum of these max prices now you can take this scorecard and use in your report based on your requirement and suppose what if if you select category 5 only then based on this selection this blended data max of unit price is also getting changed or it's getting updated even though if your data has duplicate record what will happen is that it will take a particular column for us in this example that that column is category and based on that category data it will take the max of all the unit prices and it will basically put the sum out there so for us over here you can see that for category 5 our max price is 101 that's why the sum of this max of unit price blend data is 101 now if i remove this filtration you will see again the sum is 503.63 so Alexandra, I hope your issue is resolved and if you're still facing some problem, uh, you can contact me on this email and I'll try to solve your problem as soon as possible. Happy learning and see you in the next video.